Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm going to talk about five channels that have 500 or less subscribers because everybody deserves some love and I think these channels kick ass and I want you guys to check them out. And that's what I want to talk about on today's episode. So row that intro. The first channel I want to talk about is my buddy, Joel, from back in the day. I love his channel. This is the content that I like watching on YouTube. Somebody sitting down, showing unboxings, talking about their past with them is just so fucking cool to me. And that's what I love watching, and that's why I'm giving his channel a shout out. The dude's super cool, and we became really good friends. And just a little FYI. I do have a collab video coming out with him very soon, so stay tuned for that. His channel is awesome. Not super elaborate with the editing and all the fancy shit. He sits down, unboxes, and it's just absolutely kick-ass. So I think you guys should check out his channel. Let's give him some subs because he's making great content. And the coolest thing about his channel is that it's all about the stories. It's all about the memories, and that's the exact same thing I'm going for my channel. I love hearing stories from everybody's past, and that's why his channel is on the list. So the second channel I want to talk about is a channel called Big Old Words. Now, this is a channel that I recently discovered not too long ago, but I really enjoy it. He's got pretty good editing, and he just has a voice that just translates well, uh, you know, over YouTube. I can sit and listen to this guy and listen to his reviews, you know, consistently over and over. So uh, it's a great channel. He, he talks about tons of obscure NES games that don't get much love and they deserve a lot more. So uh, because he's sitting at around 400 right now, so I'd love to get him over that 500 mark. The next channel I want to shout out is my boy Frankie from Retro Fusion Gaming. The dude is awesome. I met him at Siege, and he's been a pretty good friend ever since. We text back and forth, and he's even picked up some things that I needed at his Walmart that I couldn't find in my area and shipped them to me. So uh, the dude's pretty kick-ass. Plus, I love his channel. He's just starting out, but he's gaining subs by the day, so I'd love for you guys to go over and show him some love. One of the coolest things on his channel is that he collects OG Xbox games. Now, Xbox is super cheap right now, and he's trying to get a huge OG Xbox collection on the cheap, and he's doing a killer job at it. So I actually sent him a couple games, and he gave me a shout out in a video, so I figured, you know what, why not give old Frankie a shout out in my video, and hopefully you guys can go over and show him some love. Because I do love the Xbox series, he does pickups, he does toy reviews, he does toy unboxings, uh, super cool channel, so definitely show him some love. The next channel I want to shout out is the Poor Man's Game Room. And let me tell you, I can listen to this dude talk about retro games all night. He's just got a perfect voice for it. But, uh, you know, I want you guys to go over, show him some love. One of, the f one of my favorite things to watch on his channel is his playthroughs because he actually plays the games on OG hardware and on a CRT TV. I love just sitting there watching him sit there and play and talk about the games that he's playing. Like I said, the dude has a, if they call it a perfect vo voice for radio, he has it because if you could listen to his uh, voice on a podcast and it would just, you could just sit there and listen forever. He's got a great voice and I love his channel. Uh, he's almost at 500 subs, so hopefully you guys show him some love and he can hit that 500 subscriber mark. The last channel I want to talk about is my buddy Good Vibe Collecting. Now, this dude is super knowledgeable with the NES library and I'm sure with just Nintendo products in general. But uh, he's taught me a lot, and I've uh, actually learned a lot just by watching his videos. They're very informative, but his main focus on his channel is unboxings. 
but he does very unique ones. They're not just all retro NES and Super NES games. He does a lot of unboxings with special inserts uh, and or warranty cards or just special things that came inside games that are very elusive and hard to find now. So uh, he's very knowledgeable and I love his channel so I want to give him a shout out. He's almost at 500 subs. Let's help him get there. So I think you guys should check out Good Vibe Collecting. The dude has a super cool channel. And like I said, I can just sit here, turn him on, and I can watch his videos nonstop. They're that good. He's so knowledgeable on inserts and subscription cards and all these rare things that people don't even think about that's missing out of their games. So it's really cool when I watch one of his videos and I actually have the game that he's talking about, I'll run over to my game shelf and open it up just to make sure and see if I have the warranty card or that special mail away uh, card in, in my game. So uh, check him out, show him some love, and tell him Retro Reminiscence sent you. All right, so that's just five channels that I think you guys should check out with 500 subscribers or less. I love doing shout out videos and everybody on this list I literally love watching. I hope that you guys go over there, show them some love, tell them I sent you, and you won't regret it because every one of these channels that I mentioned, they're super nice, they got super good content, and they're growing every day. But it never hurts to get an extra one or two subs to throw on the books. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any channels that you recommend uh, that you want me to watch, throw them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on reminiscing, baby. Plus, you know, you scratch our backs, we'll scratch yours. Well, Jules, the funny thing about my back is, is that it's located on my cock. <laughs>